Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing another Monster High video. Very exciting. You see how far <laughs> the camera needs to be to fit this stupid box on frame? Um, so anyways, we finally have Hot Couture Frankie. Ordered her in April. No, it was, what was the month? May? No, this is May, April, May, January, February, March. March, I think, March, right? Whenever they first dropped, I don't know. But I got her when they dropped and she's finally here. So I'm excited, here's her box. Um, inside the box, um, if you can get this part on, maybe. No promises, these boxes are like difficult, right? Like, am I the only one who has all these issues with them? Uh, we have her things in here. So yeah, that's what we get. Let's get her out of it and take a look. All right, everyone, we are back and we have Frankie out of the box. So let's take a look at her things. We get a electroplated Monster High brush in blue. We get her stand that has the electroplated base in blue and a clear pull and clip. And we have a bag. This is made of fabric. We have a Velcro at the top to open and close it. Ribbon straps. There goes my iron, it's on the floor. And this part right here is pleather. We have a lightning bolt print with some lacing details. Honestly, I would have preferred for it to not have any of the printing. I think it would have looked better as just the blue pinstripes. Um, I think the printing cheapens it quite a bit, actually, and it just doesn't look great, um, which is a shame. I'm a strong believer in if you can't afford to do it for real, just ditch it. Um, I don't think it really adds anything to the overall look, honestly. And then we have this Certificate of Authenticity. This certifies that your Monster High Haunt Couture Frankenstein doll materialized through the collaborative efforts of designers and artists at Mattel, Rebecca Shipman. And then she says, wait, is it day 400 or day 4070? Either way, it's been a stitch or two since I last saw you. Lots of shocking stuff going on behind the screens. Don't you just love the way this look is put together? Check out this totally voltageous top with metallic skullettes and hardware vest for an edgy finish. The rest of the outfit is scare adorable with a terrifying, terrifying zipper trim skirt plus high wattage heels with light switches. I can't believe Cleo actually found time to design this after her break. Oops, like I said, lots of going on behind the screens. I've been falling apart without you, so let's hang out more often. From Frankie, and then we have her diary. Let's get these diaries. I love this, this part that they're made out of. It feels so nice. Um, 15 days, see this is the old, um, bio because the other one says like what day is it and so it says let's see if you find this along with my arm can you return both please thanks 2021 all right so uh, let's take a look at frankie starting with her face give me one second and we'll get all zoomed all right guys so here is her face up super close she of course has her signature blue eye and green eye we have a red lip paired with a blue lid with um like a kind of lilac-y color on the crease. Um, it's cute, she has a very sharp angled eyeliner, tons and tons of eyelashes on the bottom of her eye, and then there's like the slightest bit of eyeshadow. I don't think, nope, I don't think she has it at all. Nope, nothing underneath her eyeshadow. She has slight red blushing, very thick eyebrows with some very like you have to really look, but they're there. There's some little lines like details in there. We, of course, we have the false eyelashes that are a little janky. <laughs> her classic stitch. And yeah, that is her face. Let's take a look at her face next to our other Frankies here, just to get a good close up on all three. So here we go. No, it took so long. We can actually look at her next to our Creep Production Frankie. So we can see that her eye shape is a lot rounder. Um, she looks a lot younger in the face almost. Like she looks very sweet compared to the other two. And 
yeah, the lip shape looks more like the old, the new one, but that's about it. This one doesn't really look anything like the first one, but I think there are definitely, there's some more similarities here. The eye shape is really different. It's kind of crazy how different they are and see how different that eyeliner looks. Um, I think the eyeliner just looks really different too because it doesn't have the other lashes attached to it like it normally would. So that's that. Oh. Oh, she's dead. Let's see the sides. Let's see these different angles. Right here. Same head, of course, but I don't know, you know what? It almost looks. Well, it's just like her head sitting. Yeah. Let me make sure. I almost have to wonder. Everybody's been like making me question. Nope, that's the same head. It says 2008 on it. So this is the exact same head. But that is her up close. Unfortunately, she does have this little stain in her blush, so that's very annoying. I wonder what method they used. I bet they used tamp. It's got to be tampo. It's, yeah, the, sh the lines are so sharp. It's got to be tampo. But the eyebrows, when you look up close, almost look pixelated. So I have to wonder if they didn't use UV for that. It's very interesting. Very interesting indeed. We can see she's wearing these little metallic earrings that are very reminiscent of her original doll. They have a lightning bolt, a chain, and then a skull. There is little plastic pieces on her ears to protect them from staining. Um, this doll is very stain happy, apparently. We'll come to find out. We see these little hair clips in her hair. One says high voltage, and the other one is an electroplated lightning bolt. And then she has a black spiky ponytail cuff thing up here and her hair is pulled up into like an ariana ponytail half up half down it's giving you know you know what it's giving but with a ponytail it's almost the exact same that's funny um and her hair is saran Let me go back down here. it's saran but they tried to give it like some texture so it's insane looking uh, the same thing even happened with her but i mean once it's all brushed out and whatnot it should be fine but right now it's looking a little wild and the root rooting here like the rooting isn't thin but they didn't really paint her scalp very well so it looks like it's super thin like up there if it was painted like white like it should be i wonder if it's like that on this one let's look at the creep production uh, no, it's kind of the same, but she's she just has more hair, I guess. Um, let's see, let's check her. Ugh. Oh my gosh, her hair is disgusting. Disgusting. Yeah, even hers is kind of like that. Ugh. Mm, I did not like that. Oops. But yeah, I feel like if it was painted like a more solid white, it would look better. And there's also like just a ton of white hair, right? So there's only really black in the middle of it so I think that also does not help because white hair tends to be translucent looking and these black streaks look a lot more controlled than they usually do but anyways moving on we can look at her top here so she has this silver harness vest thing here it's made of a like pliable rubbery plastic type of thing there is some blue hardware here. I don't see the skullette she was talking about on it, but maybe that got removed or something. Um, didn't she have a tie at one point? I feel like she did. I feel like she needs a little bow tie or something just to really finish it off. But yeah, mm, I, <laughs> look, I love the idea of this harness. I think it's really cool looking, um, but it's cheap like it looks really really cheap right like it looks like something you would find on her so i think it desperately needed to be electroplated or like i don't know just it needed to be something because as of now it just looks super cheap and it just it looks off especially with the other electroplated jewelry like sitting right next to it it just looks a little bit off to me but anyways, moving on, we have a sheer black sweater here. The sleeves poof out at the end with a blue cuff here with some shiny threading. There is a giant metallic skull on her sweater. 
It is hers, of course. And on this side, we have some lightning bolts, and that just Velcros in the back. Um, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Wow, this is stuck in her. <laughs> I'm gonna attempt to take her stuff off here. Her arms, her body, I don't know how they messed this up, but her body is very janky. First of all, this arm over here on the side is like super deformed, right? Like the peg is super deformed. Also, the joints are like off. This is an issue on this one as well. Like for some reason, the joints aren't the same color. This isn't an issue on the older dolls. I don't know what is that is, that's scary, but I don't know. I don't know why that is an issue all of a sudden. So it's it's weird for sure. And you know, these are just like little nitpicks that I noticed. I'm sure some people don't even like, didn't even notice, but I did. <laughs> Underneath her sweater, she has this cute little, oh my gosh. See, and this arm does not want to stay in at all. And then this arm, all crooked and whatnot. I'm, just, mm, I'm a little annoyed with her body, especially because it has the see here it has this shiny bolt, so I can't even like just switch her out with the new doll. Like, yeah, I'm just a little annoyed about that. Anyways, this sweater is made of this. This little top here is this tank top with some a collar, and it is made of the same fabric as the cuffs on her sweater. You can see she has this plastic shirt underneath to prevent staining from the sweater. The um, Creep Protection Laguna also had this. I didn't really note, like, point it out in my video, but she had this too to prevent from staining. And then over here on this arm, she has this black bracelet that is studded with a little blue skullette that is also metallic and a separate piece. It's not really dangling like it should right now. And moving on down, maybe. I right, was had to change the tripod angle a bit. We have her skirt. So this is a pretty interesting skirt here. It is multi-layered. This top layer has what I thought was the exact print from her original dress, but as you can see, it's more blue. Well, oh, maybe. I don't know, it looks a bit different. To me, it looks darker, like more saturated maybe. It, it looks different. I thought it was the exact fabric, but now I am questioning if it is or not. It could be. It could not be. It could just be like, and it definitely looks darker to me. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm crazy because it doesn't, on camera, they almost look exactly the same. But in person, this one is like a lot darker than this one is. So, and a lot less, this one's a lot more green and this one's a lot more blue. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. Let me know what you guys think. <laughs> But we have the top layer that has like this little split down the middle. There's some zipper detailing. And this middle layer is pleather. Um, ooh, that looks ugly on that side. It's not lined, so yeah. And then there's a, one more layer down here at the bottom, which is the uh, plaid again. And then we have a, one more layer of mesh. So we have a total of four layers on this skirt that just uses Velcro in the back. We have a black belt here that is painted with blue studs, a lightning bolt, and those little clips again. And moving on down to her shoes, we have this pair of almost gladiator sandal heels. I'm not really sure how to explain them. They look pretty cool. They have this little lever here. It's very much giving pull the lever cronk, and that is a movable piece. Um, so that's fun if you're into that. I'm probably just going to leave the rubber bands on it personally, but it's cool. Oh, already popping off so it pops off pretty easily if you're not careful I guess you could lose part of your shoe uh, it's silver it's a silver shoe with this really cool texturing and it has a black sole once again super cool super detailed you know we never miss in the shoe department with Monster High that is for sure the shoes are always immaculate it is kind of crazy though like we went from this to like this type of shoe how they've evolved. <laughs> like the first like the first wave shoes are all kind of pretty pretty simple other than maybe Claudine's. But yeah, that is Haunt Couture Frankie. Let's do a final thoughts. Alright guys, so that has been Haunt Couture Frankie. She was $75 on Mattel Creations, and this also marks the end 
of our Haunt Couture Wave 1 dolls. Uh, there is a Cleo and Laguna that's supposed to be coming out later this year. So, you know, we'll be overpaying for those two. <laughs> and yeah, let me know what you guys think of Haunt Couture in the comments below. Let me know if you were able to get any, you know, comments help the algorithm. You know, let's, let's hit, let's hit that algorithm. Um, I'm like, after getting the Cree Productions, I have to say I'm a little like whelmed by Haunt Couture. Like, realistically, they're not anything above what you get with Dawn of the Dance, per se. Uh, you know, in Dawn of the Dance, we also get the electroplated things, we get a fabric bag. I think the only real difference is the eyelashes. Um, and the, the screenings are different too, but these screenings are totally like the way they're applied. They, they, they're you can do it with Playline, so it's not anything you couldn't do with a Playline doll. Um, and it doesn't seem like there was any like extra quality control or anything, because I've seen some pretty <laughs> interesting dolls. And one more little nitpick I have with these dolls is the stands. I wish they had saddle stands instead. I feel like the designs don't lend to the clip stands very well. Like, Dracula's not wearing it, but with her cape, like, the cape sits funny on this stand. Her coat fits funny on the stand. And her, like, outfit's supposed to be, like, one piece, right? It's supposed to be one... Well, it's two pieces, but it's supposed to be, like, one connected piece. But you get this annoying midriff situation because you can't clip her on the stand with the belt up here. So, I don't know. A saddle stand, I think, would have been smarter for these dolls specifically. And they have one, like 13 Wishes had it, Caddy had it, I feel like there's some other doll that I'm forgetting that had it, but who knows. Yeah, that's just my, my nitpicks, and yeah. So I will see you guys next time. Here is my subscribers, please subscribe. Here are my socials, please follow me. I love attention. Alright, thanks. I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.